in the before class we discussed about the topic is sales book now okay purchase book sales book okay so this is a pro forma of purchase book in this purchase book what are the transactions relating to the goods on credit purchased goods on credit that will be recorded in the purchase book okay what are the cash transactions relating to their purchase book or not recorded in this book okay next is sales book okay in that sales book we records only the credit sale of goods in which the businessman deals with. okay now this is a pro forma of sales book okay in this pro forma first is date particulars invoice number lf means ledger folio amount okay in that sales book what we record we record only the credit sales of trading goods okay that is goods purchased for sale now so that should be recorded in this book okay sales of assets are not recorded in this book okay now where we have to record the sale of assets so that will be recorded in journal proper in this sales book only the credit sales of goods will be recorded in this book okay sale of assets are not recorded in this book and next important point is cash sales are not entered in this book okay what are the cash transactions will be there now relating to their sales okay cash sales are not entered in this book because where we have to record that cash sales that are recorded in the cash book okay this is a pro forma of sales book now see the next is sales returns book next book is sales returns book Sales return book means what? So the sales return book is also known as a returns inward book. Sales return book is also known as an a returns inward book. Okay. Now the sales returns. Okay. Whenever we sales that we return goods to the supplier. Okay. So this book is also known as an a returns inward book. Just as we return goods to the suppliers. Sometimes a trader may have to receive back some of the goods he might have sold to the customer. Okay, such returns are made by the whom? Such returns are made by the customers or recorded in special journal meant for that purpose which is called as an a sales return book. Okay, when the sales returns are made by the customer to the trader, a note will be sent to the trader informing him that his account is credited in the books of the trader to extent of goods returned by him. Okay, so why because why the customer needs and return that goods? Suppose I'm the owner, okay, I'm selling that goods to the customer. Okay, when one customer purchases a good from ours okay so that goods are not in a good quality not quantity it that product contains more price okay so then that time the what that customer need he wants to return that goods okay so that is an a sales returns book okay I write down the meaning of this sales returns book When 
never whenever goods sold on credit okay whenever goods sold on credit are returned by or returned by customers and then by customers so they are recorded they are recorded recorded in sales returns book sales returns book or returns inwards book okay at that time a note will sent to a note will will be sent to the trader sent to the trader informing informing him that his account is credited his account is credited credited in the books of in the books of the trader to the extent of goods to the extent of goods returned by him okay so this is the meaning of sales return book okay now see the pro forma of the sales returns book Proforma of sales returns book. Okay, proforma of sales returns book. Proformas are very very important. Okay, don't forget. date particulars lf number credit note Okay. this is a pro forma of sales returns book okay date particulars L lf number credit note number credit note number amount okay
so in this as well as in the date column we write the dates in that particular which customer is returned that goods we write that customer name lf number leave that column and credit note okay so what is the meaning of this credit note when when the seller receives bag goods from the purchaser along with a debit note the seller has to acknowledge the same by sending a credit note confirming the acceptance of debit otherwise in other words this is a statement sent by the seller to the purchaser after the receipt of the goods returned by the purchaser okay the following is a specimen of this credit note okay in that credit note uh, suppose customer return that goods now the seller accepts that goods now so for that accepting the seller will send that this is a credit notes to that customer okay so this is the meaning of the credit note in that amount column we write that amount okay the next is see the purchase returns book the next book is purchase returns book okay in that sales returns book we sold some goods to the customer customer return back that goods to that uh, seller in this purchase we made that purchases okay in this case we purchased goods from the supplier okay whenever we purchase that goods that goods are not in a good quality or any quantity then that time we returns that goods to the supplier so that is a purchase returns book Okay, so this purchase book returns book is also known as an a purchase returns book is also known as an a returns outward book. Purchase book is also known as an a returns outward book okay see here so this purchase returns book is also known as an a returns outwards book so when the trader purchases goods he verifies that whether they are in good condition and agree with some terms and conditions of the order he places suppose if the goods received are defective in quality or damaged in transit or not up to the sample shown at the time of order placing so the trader will return such goods to the suppliers so these returns are called as an a purchase returns okay such as returns to the suppliers will be entered in separate book that book is called as an a purchase returns book when we returns that goods now so that returned goods are entered in a separate book that separate book is also known as an a purchase returns book okay at that time when purchase returns are made to the suppliers a debit note will be sent to them giving reference that their accounts are debited in the books of the traders to the extent of goods returned to them why because because suppliers account is credited with the whole amount when goods are purchased okay now write down this meaning of the purchase you got it now when we purchase that goods after purchasing that goods that goods are not in a good condition 
okay uh, some some goods are damaged in transit some goods are not up to the sample shown in the time of placing order so then that time we return that goods to the supplier so that returning goods are entered in separate book that book is known as a purchase returns book at that time when when purchase returns are made to the supplier what will be sent debit note will be sent to them giving the friends that their accounts are debited in the books of the accounts so the debit note is a document bill or a statement sent to the person to whom goods are returned or from an allowance is an a claim okay so first write down this meaning of the purchase returns book after that we draw the proof form of purchase returns book If the goods received or the goods received or defective goods received or defective or damaged. or not up to the sample shown sample shown so the trader will the trader will return will return such goods to the supplier will return such goods to the supplier so these returns are called purchase returns these returns are called purchase returns okay this is the meaning of the purchase book so such returns to the suppliers or entered in separate book that book is called as an a purchase returns book or returns outward book so while returning goods it must be noted that any trade discount allowed in the virginal transaction must be taken into the consideration and only net values of goods returned must be recorded okay now see the pro forma of this purchase returns book pro forma of
purchase returns book date particulars lf number debit note number date particular cell f number debit amount number and amount so in the date column we write the date and in that particulars which person do this purchase returns write that name write that person name next in that ledger folio number leave that they leave this column okay in debit note number in that problem they will be given the like uh, the debit note numbers we write that uh, numbers and this amount okay so what is this uh, debit note meaning why we use this word in this purchase returns book so this note is a document or an a bill or an a statement sent to the person to whom the goods are returned okay so this statement informs that he his account is debited to the extent of that value of goods return or allowances claim okay it contains a description and details of the goods return okay suppose in 10 types of goods are returned to that customer in the description part we mentioned that each and everything okay it contains a description and details of goods return name of the party to whom goods are returned and net value of the goods so return with the reason for returns okay so this is the meaning of the debit note okay The next is Okay, see one problem regarding to this sales book. Okay, now see the problem. Write up sales book from the following transaction. Okay, 2013 April 10th. Sold goods to Sitaram Ahmedabad 
so goods here goods mentioned is it credit transaction or cash transaction when the person name is given it is an a credit transaction or else in that uh, suppose person name is not given like directly given sold goods for cash it is an a cash transaction but in this problem goods are mentioned sita raman mentioned so when the sita rams name is given it is an a credit transaction uh, so that sold goods to sita ram ahmedabad so 60 meters seal get the rate of 50 per meter means see here 60 meters will be there per meter is how much 50 rupees then how much is the total 60 into 50 is 3000 next is 50 meters velvet at the rate rupees 80 rupees per meter so total how much is the value for this 50 meters 50 into 80 is 4000 unless 10 percent is trade discount so 60 into 50 3000 plus 4000 7000 under that 7000 we deduct that 10 percent is in a trade discount okay then next is sold goods to radesha delhi so this is also credit transaction relating to the sales so this is also recorded in the sales book because goods is mentioned person name is mentioned okay okay next is Rup Narayan and Sain and Sans purchased from us okay purchased from us means from their point of view it is any sales now sorry purchase it from us they want to purchase it from us from our point of view what means we we sell that goods that troop narayan is a receiver of that good which book we are preparing now sales book in our point of view it is a sales now so that is also recorded in the sales book okay 10 meter silk 5 meters velvet and less trade discount next is sold to Bridge Mohan and Bros Madura. So, shirting cloth rupees 700, saris rupees 2500. So, these are all four types of transactions are recorded in the sales book. Okay, now see the problem. For this problem, each and everything mentioned clear. Now, goods is mentioned, person name is mentioned. Okay, now we will prepare this sales book. Okay solution sales book date particulars invoice numbers suppose invoice numbers is not given just we write one two three four next lf number leave that lf number column next last is amount Two thousand thirteen 
April 10th. Okay. Sold goods to Sita Ram. Okay. How to write the name is Sita Ram. Ahmada Bad. What sixty meters silk at the rate rupees fifty per meter now. So total is how much? Sixteen to fifty is three thousand. Next is fifty meters velvet at the rate rupees how much eighty per meter. So total is how much fifty into eighty is four thousand. Total is how much seven thousand. So under the seven thousand in that problem is mentioned by right? this corner. So that is less. Ten percent trade discount. So how to calculate this ten percent is seven thousand into ten percent means what? Ten by hundred now. So total is how much? Seven hundred is the trade discount. So deduct that seven hundred. Then total is how much? Six thousand three hundred. Okay. So it is an a first invoices. Okay. Next is sold goods to Radhesham, Delhi on which date? April twelfth. Radhesham. Delhi. Okay. So under this, thirty meters silk at the rate rupees how much? Fifty five per meter. Thirty into fifty-five is how much? Is one six five zero? Next is twenty meters. Velvet at the rate rupees eighty rupees per meter. How much? Sixteen hundred now. Total is three thousand two fifty. Okay. Under this less ten percent trade discount. So that. Three thousand two fifty into ten divided by hundred is how much is three twenty five is the trade discount. Okay, so three twenty five deducting which is two thousand nine twenty five is the amount. This is the second invoice has two thousand nine twenty five. Next. In April 18th, Roop Narayan and Sons purchased it from us. Okay, so Roop Narayan take 
टेन मीटर्स सिल्क एट द रेट रुपी सिक्सटी पर मीटर सो टेन इंटू सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट इज फाइव मीटर्स वेलवेट एट द रेट रुपी नाइंटी पर मीटर हाउ मच फाइव नाइन जा फोर्टी फाइव सो दट इज फोर फिफ्टी टोटल इज नाइन फिफ्टी सॉरी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी लेस हाउ मच इज ट्रेड डिस्काउंट टेन पर्सेंट ना सो टेन पर्सेंट ट्रेड डिस्काउंट दैट इज वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी इंटू टेन पर्सेंट मीन्स टेन बै हंड्रेड सो ट्रेड डिस्काउंट इज हाउ मच वन नाट फाइव Okay, next is an April twenty third sold to Bridge Mohan and Bros. Next on which date? April twenty third. Shirting cloth. So total is how much? Three thousand two hundred. Fourteen boys. Okay, total of the amount is three thousand two hundred. Okay, these are the various transactions under the sales book. Now do the total. How much is six thousand three hundred plus two thousand nine twenty five plus nine forty five plus rupees three thousand two hundred. Total is how much? Total of the sales book is thirteen thousand three seventy. Okay, so this is the problem under the sales book. Okay, this is our today's class.